Tomorrow is the big day, a big game, Ghana versus Mali, along with some other top clashes, Nigeria versus South Africa, which follows. Today we're going to look at the game, the, the pre-match press conference has been held, we'll listen to what has been said, uh, what how prepared the boys are, Coach Otuado and Thomas Pate face the press. We're also going to talk about uh, the African Cup of Nations and the Women's AFCON. It looks like those two tournaments are up for postponement. Also talk about the Under-20 Women's World Cup. Ghana have been drawn in a group uh, which looks quite interesting. We'll also talk about uh, Ghana's chances of uh, repeating what happened in 2009 away at Mali. The Black Stars captain Andrea Yu he is uh, getting in shape with Mubarak Wakasu uh, despite not being called into the Ghana national team. We'll have a look at all that today. It's really packed as usual. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on that notification bell to get more updates. Today I'll start with shout outs once again sharp killer your comments in my last video thank you so much uh, christian Nuopo, thank you so much for your comment uh, chico tier thank you so much for your comment as well jatwa jatwa <laughs> it's quite interesting some of uh, the usernames you guys are using but thank you so much i appreciate your comment We'll jump right into it. And uh, Coach Otoado and Thomas Pate faced the media ahead of the game between Ghana and uh, Mali. Uh, the two men uh, were the ones who answered some questions from the media. Not so many questions as translations made the video a bit longer. On SF Sports, you can watch the full video of uh, the pre-match press conference. But basically, Coach Otoado has said he has a plan uh, for the Malian national team and obviously he will not divulge into his plans for the Malian national team. Thomas Party, who probably has been the longest out of the Ghana national team was not at the African Cup of Nations if I'm not mistaken he was not part of the first two qualifier games in November and uh, he has been out for a while. He however was involved in Ghana's last World Cup qualifying campaign where he got the decisive goal that got us there. He was ready. He says he is ready to go. He is very much prepared. He says I know I haven't played recently for the team but I have played a lot of matches for the Black Stars since my debut. I know the system the coach wants and I have the experience to help the young group of players to get the best kind of results we want. We have to do our best to stop Mali, stop their best players and concentrate on the way we play to get the results we want. Otoado too spoke to the media and he says that it's a very important match for us. We are one point behind Mali and we have to win as a, to give us a chance of qualifying for the World Cup. Mali are a very strong side. They have a young talent in their team and it will be a tough game for us tomorrow. Surely I think we are ready for the game. I was very satisfied with how the players understood, with how the players want to play. This is going to be a tough match away in Mali, uh, but we also have the quality to compete against them. Although we didn't have a good AFCON, we have the players to get three points from Mali and I like that. But breaking news is that Ghana have dropped into fifth out of the six in their group. Uh, following that win, a uh, Chad Central African Republic beats Chad 1-0 and that took them into third place. Mali still remain a uh, second in the group. Uh, Central African Republic have beaten Chad 1-0 and they are moved further up the table. That means that we cannot afford to slip up. It looks like Chad will be the whooping boys of the group, but no one is a whooping boy if we are talking football. And uh, Chad loss to Central African Republic has brought Central African Republic into the third position. Ghana are now in fifth. So it's all to play for in this all important game. Otoado and the boys are ready. Uh, Thomas Party is also ready and uh, we cannot wait for that all important clash tomorrow at uh, the uh, Mali Bamako Stadium. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this one here. Right after the uh, press conference, Otoado and the boys took part in their final training session ahead of the game uh, between them and Mali. They took, they took to the field in their final training session at 
uh, the same venue that uh, they had the press conference in. On to my next story about the African Cup of Nations. And earlier on, uh, reports were that the African Cup of Nations 2025, which was scheduled to take place in June, July 2025, would be postponed. And simply because the African a club world cup which is having an expanded format and has been introduced by fifa will be taking place yes fifa are the main uh, pushers for this one here so that means that uh, the african cup of nations the next available date could be january 2026 and the uh, general secretary of cap uh, has uh, in an interview with bbc suggested as much however spokesperson of CAF came to clear the air of the matter and has said that nothing has been decided yet yes nothing has been decided yet in that respect it is not setting what will happen as CAF has said reports about the 2025 afcon uh, being postponed to january 2026 is not accurate announcement concerning a possible postponement of cap 2025 are false cap executive committee will meet to deliberate and make a decision on the date of the can 2025 cap will then issue an official statement on the subject but the truth is that 2025 june july proposed dates that morocco is supposed to hold it is not feasible even right now the women's afcon is supposed to take place in june we do not have a schedule we've not been giving and links to uh, to apply for accreditation it's clear that there are so many things right now happening that would probably mean that it's not going to happen the women's half corn june supposed to happen nothing on that front so it's going to be interesting how calf releases that statement and what they bring in right now they want to control the narrative so they are debunking all rumors rightly so uh, we hope for the official communique to be something much more favorable than what we've been hearing so far but black stars captain andrea Yu was getting in tip-top shape uh, with mubarak wakasu despite being snapped ahead of the world cup qualifiers tomorrow andrea Yu has been in getting into good shape we wish him all the very best he's a determined man if anyone was strong enough he is going to be the one to overcome such setbacks of not being called up into the world cup team uh, hopefully he does get over it and uh, support the team as best as he can from the sidelines wish him all the very best and uh, today it's uh, the 20 under 20 women's world cup ghana uh, were placed in a group uh, which is quite interesting the under 20 women's world cup has seen ghana uh, placed in group with uh, japan new zealand and austria a uh, group e yes uh, the under 20 women's world cup will take place in colombia and uh, the black princesses will be taking part in it the final training session was held today we'll have pictures and videos from there let me know your thoughts in the comments box about tomorrow's game 7 p.m gmt uh, the game will kick off i'll see you guys in the next one have a great evening Nice.